everybody, Karen the Warp Spinster. Thanks for joining me today. This is clue four of the mystery quilt. Quick review from last time. This is the first unit that we put together. We pressed the seams all going up. The next unit, again, this seam was pressed up. Then on this piece, the seams were pressed toward the right. And on this long piece, all of the seams were pressed upward. We're going to start putting these together into blocks. We are going to put them into blocks. For now, I'm going to set these two pieces aside. Those will be our last steps. So we'll take these two, and now we're gonna take all of those six square strips and start adding them in. Now, because we have pressed all of these seams going up, that means that we want all of the seams on these six square strips <laughs> to be pressed down. If you pre are pressing your seams open, the pressing direction won't matter for you. So I'm going to then put one over here we're just going to be interspersing them here. And so this seems going down, this seems going up. Down, up, down, up. So those will butt together nicely when we put them together. If, of course, your strips, you can just flip them upside down if they aren't pressed in the direction that you want. Then I'm going to put another strip over here and again, I want those to be pressed down. So I'll flip it if it isn't right. And if your these are not matching up, if you're finding that this strip is longer, then check your seam allowances here. Each of these should be finishing at two inches. If they are wider than two inches, then you need to check your seam and probably take a little deeper seam. That happens to me sometimes when I'm using fabric that has, or squares that have pinked edges. Um, generally, I know, and it looks like I need to do a little adjusting on this one actually. Those pinked edges, it can be hard to know whether you want to sew at the bottom of the pink, at the top of the pink, or in the middle. So that can throw you off, but just check those to make sure that they're matching up here. And then this is going to slide in there. And then another six square strip is going to slide in over here. And these are going down again. So all of this, the strips with six squares in them should think of another name for those, will all have their seams going down. All the ones you did yesterday will have the seams going up so that those seams will butt together. So you're just going to do right sides together, quarter inch seam, all the way across here. Then all of these you are going to press to the left. So if you remember the last time we did these press toward the left, and you're going to do the same thing here. So all of these are gonna be pressed the same direction. Now, if something happened last time <laughs> and these are actually pressed toward the right, then you're just gonna press all the seams that direction. Just be consistent all the way across here in which direction you press them. I'm gonna put all these together, do the pressing, and then come back. I'm back. <laughs> Just wanted to note that when I am sewing these, I am actually going to put a pin where these meet just for extra security. It it's, uh, means less reverse sewing later if those don't match up. I'm, I'm particular about those matching up, so I will probably put a pin in these. I'm back again. I'm getting there. But I also wanted to come back and just mention that as I'm adding these on, if my edges here 
I didn't straighten the strips after I sewed them. So I'm just checking here and straightening this edge before I sew it on here. So at this point, it, they started out as two and a half inch squares. I put in one seam. So now they should read at two and a quarter inches wide. And if they're narrow or wider than that, then I just line up my two and three quarter inch line along this seam and trim it there to two and a quarter inches. And that gives me then a straight and even edge to sew this onto. And here's this final section. So now we have three sections. I've just interspersed these six square strips in between the pieces that we did last week, or last time, I guess it was two weeks ago. And everything is pressed in the same direction. So I pressed these to the left. So all of these are pressed to the left. Now, next up, we are going to put this section on top here. Same thing, we have all of these pressed to the left. These we pressed to the right last time. So now those are going to butt up against each other. If again, you press these the wrong direction, then you're just going to do the opposite pressing on all of these. All right, so now I'm just going to put right sides together, pick off a few threads quarter inch seam and this time I am going to press it in the same direction as this first row over here. So I'm going to press that seam down. So these two sections are together and I've pressed it downward or the same direction as in this first strip over here. Now we just have one section left and that is going to be this long one. And these seams were pressed up which handily enough will match up when we put it to the side here. I know this is longer than you can see on camera, but those two edges should match up. This seam is up, that one's down, this one's up, that one's down, so they'll match up. So this is how it's going to look going together. That will be our last seam. And in this case, we're going to press the seam again the same direction we've been pressing all the vertical seams today, and that is to the left. I will do that and be back with the finished block. And here's the finished block. I have changed location. I'm now in my living room. Sorry about the change in lighting. I'm also holding the camera by hand, which means that the perspective of the block is gonna be a little wonky. It is square, even though it may not look like it in the video here. It should finish uh, or should square up at this point to 18 and a half inches. Mine is 18 and a half inches. I haven't squared it up yet, so the edges are a little bit uneven, but it should be 18 and a half inches. Next time, which I think will be in a week, we will talk about how we're going to arrange these and put them together. And then I will talk a bit about quilting. I should say I will speculate a bit about quilting. I don't know yet how I'm going to quilt it. May not know next week how I'm going to quilt it, but we can talk about some possibilities and hopefully you all can contribute some ideas as well. I know you've got quite a bit of sewing to do in a week, but all we're gonna do next time is talk about how we arrange them. And if you haven't finished all your blocks by then, it's no big deal. Yes. On Wednesday, I'll be doing another process video. So I will see you then. And clue five will be in a week. In the meantime, be well, be happy, be quilting. Peace out. Mm -hmm.